uh, the guests, Routine from St. Petersburg University. Um, so, so today I'm going to share a little bit about our humble university. It is located in Russia, the biggest country in the world, uh, with its unique nature, culture, history. And um, St. Petersburg Un University is located, well, as it is obvious from its name, in St. Petersburg. And St. Petersburg is considered the cultural capital of Russia. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the world, according to many rankings. And with its favorable location and numerous heritage sites, it's definitely a place worth visiting. And of course, studying in. St. Petersburg is not only a widely recognized culture center, but it is also home to the oldest university in Russia which is St. Petersburg University. It was founded in 1724. And uh, there are a lot of myths concerning studying in Russia and in St. Petersburg, and we're going to look at them more closely. So the first myth is that getting in is hard. Well, this is kind of true, but also not. So if you pay attention closely to all the details, then admission could be an easy process for you. First of all, we have our special committee at St. Petersburg University, which deals with recognition of um, educational credentials from foreign countries. And then we have uh, the procedure of applying totally online. So you don't need to come to Russia in order to apply, which makes it much easier. And of course, and this is, uh, I think, very important, we also provide state-funded educational places, which means that you may apply and be accepted to places totally funded by the Ministry of Science and Higher Education of the Russian Federation. The second myth is that St. Petersburg is a very expensive city, which again is not quite true. So, for example, living in St. Petersburg is much more cheaper than living in Moscow, the capital of Russia. So there are a lot of different student discounts and uh, the city pr provides a student travel card for city transport. Um, so this is much cheaper than paying for everything else. Then we have free or discounted entry to museums and theaters, and there are lots of them at the city. Believe me, they're all worth visiting. And of course, um, having a good meal is always very important. And this isn't very expensive in most of our canteens too. The third myth is that finding accommodation is hard. And for that case, our university offers accommodation in our halls of residence. The first myth is that getting a visa is just a difficult. Again, that's not true. We provide visa support. We have a special visa and passport department, which supports our students during their uh, studies and during the application period too, if necessary. And we also may provide a letter of invitation if that is required. Um, one of the leading international centers of education, science, and culture, St. Petersburg University successfully combines innovation and traditions. So today uh, we have more than 25,000 students and 15% are international students. We also provide more than 400 academic programs so that you may choose anything that's um, beneficial for your future and that really helps you to find out more about the subjects of your interest. And of course, we have almost 5,000 um, members of our academic staff who are highly qualified and are ready to help you with all your studies and research um, and well, other things too. And of course, studying at St. Petersburg University comes with a lot of benefits. We provide flexible programs, uh, which means that we really pay attention to interdisciplinary approach and we give a chance to choose between uh, different courses that may help you to follow the path of your choice. And of course, uh, studying is about people and uh, there are 
leading researchers uh, that help us prepare our students. Um, and of course, we provide the technology, the um, sources for your research. That's why we have research park that has no live arrivals. And we also provide an access to largest university library. And of course, studying is about self-realization. That's why we also provide internship programs, study exchange, and a wide variety of volunteering sports programs and clubs. Of course, uh, international collaboration is a way of um, making everything better. Um, it's an important means of our development. And uh, that's why we have exchange programs, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and exchange programs are a semester or an academic year of study abroad uh, or in Russia, if you are from a partner university. And usually the nominees are not required to pay any fees and are provided with an opportunity to apply for language courses. And um, other courses like subject courses within the field of study that they are nominated for. Uh, the university pays special attention to the employability of our students and succeeds in that according to the world rankings. There are career centers uh, that organize career days where our students have a chance to meet their future employers and uh, to choose an internship program. In, the, in their field of study. Moreover, employers are actively engaged in our educational programs design. That means that uh, this is not purely academic, but it is also practice-based. And of course, um, we provide this opportunity of using our research park. Uh, it's an important scientific center in Russia and in the world as well. And uh, of course, the university values the aspirations for exploration and achievements in our students. So we provide resource centers in biomedicine and human health, uh, information systems and technology, nanotechnology and material science, ecology and nature management, as well as sociology and internet research. And as they say, study hard, play hard. So that's why we provide a lot of different extracurricular activities that any students may choose to participate in. So you may see that we have different clubs, a startup contest, which could be very um, beneficial for the future of our students and we of course have speaking clubs for those who want to practice their language skills so we provide more than 400 degree programs in such fields of study as physics and mathematics computer information science natural sciences social sciences humanities arts and culture and apart from degree programs, we also provide exchange programs, online courses, summer schools, non-degree programs and language courses. Traditionally, teaching at St. Petersburg University uh, is carried out in Russian, but uh, the university also provides programs that are taught completely in English. Uh, these are three bachelor's programs, 20 master's programs, and there are also four master's programs that are taught totally in French, German, Spanish and Italian. Uh, these are mostly in the fields of linguistics. And for those who are interested in further studying in Russian, but uh, are not quite sure about their language skills yet, or um, haven't really encountered the Russian language yet, we provide a preparatory course for international citizens. This is a non-degree program which aims to prepare you for entry to institutions of higher education in Russia. And there are different fields of study that you may choose from when you apply. There are other extra opportunities for studying Russia, a Russian as a foreign language in our university. And they are provided by Language Testing Center. We also provide an opportunity to test your Russian skills. And uh, you may also choose to participate in our Olympiad in Russian as a foreign language. 
there are other Olympiads for school uh, children in different subjects, but they are also in Russian. So, as I mentioned earlier, apart from fee-paying contractual places, we also provide places funded by the Russian government. Um, so, the requirements for the places funded by the Russian government for the previous year, you may see on the screen. Um, the documents that are necessary are mentioned there. You may also find everything on our website. And admission tests are usually held as a competitive selection of documents, which means portfolio which is totally online. Um, the deadlines would be changed, of course, for this year, and everything would be shortly published on our website so that you may uh, know what is the uh, time frame for this year. And uh, as for the places on the fee paying or contractual basis, the procedure is the same. Usually the time frame is a little bit different, but again, uh, you provide the supporting documents for your application and also documents for participating in this competitive selection of documents, which is called portfolio. All the criteria for the portfolio competition are also published on our website. So we have different criteria for each educational program. So you just choose the program that you would like to apply for and check the criteria. Usually, uh, the motivation letter is required. Uh, it brings you points. So it's very important that your motivation letter should be totally anonymous. So there shouldn't be mentioned any information allowing to establish its authorship. And for those who are interested in further uh, learning about the admission scheme, we also um, advise to visit our meetings. Um, one of them is in Spanish. It would be on September, uh, sorry, in November 7th. Yeah, <clears throat> um, the time is Moscow time and all the necessary information and the link is provided on our website. So once again, if you're interested in um, applying to degree programs, you may contact us. Uh, you may see all the necessary contacts on the left. Uh, if you're interested in academic exchange programs, then you may contact our colleagues. And if you're interested in, in Olympiads, uh, then you may see everything on the uh, right.